such overhead expenses are the ones that are fixed in nature and don't get impacted by increase or decrease in production activities such overhead expenses are the ones that vary in direct proportion to the volume of output semi variable overhead expenses are ones which are partly fixed and partly variable in nature hello everyone i am arun kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore dear students welcome to this new session on unit number 4 session 1 the topic is overhead so yes dear student in this session we'll be learning about overhead so what is overhead first we have to know the meaning of overhead then only we can move forward with respect to this topic so what are the overhead costs so cost is nothing but the expenditure so what is this overhead cost so overhead cost is nothing but overhead cost or those cost that is not related directly on the production activity yes overhead cost is not directly related to the productional activities for example to produce a product what and all you required what and all you required obviously machinery you required and you know the direct labor you required and the raw materials required right raw materials required labors required so these are all the components which are directly related to the productional activities but with respect to overheads they are not directly related to the productional activities and therefore considered as indirect cost that have to be paid even if there is no production yes overheads are not the direct expenditures or they are not directly related to the productional activities therefore those overheads or expenditures are considered as indirect cost yes it is considered as indirect cost that have to be paid even if there is no production yes if you are producing the product or not okay but you are supposed to pay the overheads the indirect cost that will not affect or that will not show any kind of effect with respect to your production so whether you are producing the product or not producing the product in the factory but you are supposed to pay the indirect wages and examples include yes examples for overhead rent payable yes if you are running the business or the factory in a rented property or in a rented building or in a rented place so you are supposed to pay the rent to that particular property whether you are producing the product or not okay for example for 8 months you produced a product for next 4 months there is no production activities but still you have to pay rent right so that is called indirect cost indirect cost with respect to which is related to your production activities next example utilities payable and insurance payable yes utilities payable or insurance payable so you are going to take a insurance on like for example fire insurance even though you are not running you are not producing the product you are supposed to pay the insurance premium fire insurance premium so that will not related to your production activities whether you are producing the product or not but you are supposed to pay the insurance cost next salary is payable to office staff yes if you are hired any office staff even they are not producing the product if the office people are working then you are supposed to pay salary to the office people so that is also a indirect cost next office supplies for example stationeries so whatever the stationeries you are purchasing that will not related to production activity whether you are producing the product or not you are supposed to pay the amount for stationeries so that is also called the indirect cost so what is this overheads overheads are not the direct cost which is relating to the production activities therefore it is considered as yes it is considered as what it is considered as indirect cost and the indirect cost have to be paid even if there is no productional activities yes indirect cost or the overhead is supposed to be paid even though there is no productional activities so what are the examples for overheads the examples are rent payable 
and utilities payable, insurance payable, salaries payable to office staff and office supplies. So this is the meaning of overhead. It is not you know directly related to the production activities. So that is what is called indirect cost. And this indirect cost is supposed to be payable to the particular employees or to the particular expenditure, even though if there is no productional activities conducted in your business. Next, moving further, types of overhead costs. Yes, types of overhead cost. In overheads, that is in expenses, we have different types. So, which are those? In this, the first one is fixed overhead. So now here you are supposed to know the meaning of fixed to overhead. Then it will be very clear to you to understand the concept of overhead. So what is the first type of overhead? It is fixed to overhead. So what is fixed to overhead? Such overhead expenses are the ones that are fixed in nature and don't get impacted by increase or decrease in production activities. Yes, fixed to overhead is nothing but it's an expenditure which is always constant. It is always constant. It will not get changed according to the increase or decrease of productional activities. Okay. You are producing 8000 units of product. Okay. 8000 units of product. Suddenly you increase it to 10,000. You increased it to 10,000 units and after a few days, you decreased it to 6,000 units. See, whether you are producing 8,000 units, 10,000 units or 6,000 units of product, this fixed overhead, fixed expenditure remained fixed. Okay, it remains fixed. It will not get changed. Or volume of output manufactured by the business. Yes, that means whatever we are producing, whether the production activity increases or decreases, this fixed overhead, fixed expenditure remains fixed. It will not get changed as the production activities changes. These overheads are fixed within a specified limit and not influenced by managerial actions up to such limit. Yes, to certain limit, to maximum extent, fixed overheads are fixed. They are not you know, changeable or they will not get changed. The fixed overheads will not get changed as per your production activities. Only in some scenarios, in some scenarios that might get changed, okay, due to the managerial decisions. Except those decisions, this overheads will not get changed. Which one? The fixed overheads. So, which are the examples for fixed overheads? So, fixed overheads examples include rent, and depreciation. So these are all the two examples. We have few more examples for that. So rent, for example, see whether you are producing 6,000 units, 8,000 units or 10,000 units of product. For example, if the rent is fixed like 10,000 rupees, okay, rent is 10,000 rupees. See whether you are producing 6,000 or 8,000 or 10,000 units of product, but you are supposed to pay the rent of 10,000. So, this rent is an expenditure. So, it is fixed. Okay. Rent is fixed. You are supposed to pay 10,000 whether you are producing 20,000 units, 1 lakh units or even though you are not producing the products also, you are supposed to pay the rent. So, that is why the rent is called fixed over it. I hope now you understood the concept. Next one, depreciation. Okay. Depreciation on furniture, depreciation on plant and machinery, depreciation on computers, Dep depreciation on motor vehicles, for example, depreciation on depreciation on machinery. Okay, on machinery you are giving depreciation of fifteen thousand. Okay, you are giving depreciation of fifteen thousand. See whether you are producing the products or not. Whether you are producing six thousand, eight thousand, or ten thousand units, but you are supposed to give the depreciation of fifteen thousand on a particular machinery at the end of the year. So here fixed overheads is nothing but few expenditures or few overheads are fixed. They will not get changed as the production activities changes like the production activities increases or decreases. The overheads will not get changed. So let us move to the next one. So next one is 
variable overheads. The second type is variable overheads. First one is fixed overhead. Second one is variable overhead. So what is variable overhead? So variable overhead here, such overhead expenses are the ones that vary in direct proportion to the volume of output. Yes, variable is nothing but get changing, fluctuating. So according to your production level, the cost will also get changed. So here you can see direct proportion to the volume of output. That means whatever the output you are producing, okay, whatever the products you are producing, how many units you are producing, based on that, that expenditure will also get changed. These overhead expenses are directly affected by business activity. Yes, variable overhead is directly affected by the business activity. Based upon how many units you are producing, we are going to decide the variable cost. Okay. So variable expenses or variable overhead examples include shipping expenses and advertisement cost, etc. For example, shipping expenses. See, if you are you know, purchasing raw material of 10 tons, for 10 tons, you'll be charging like around 1000 rupees of transportation cost. Okay, you'll be charging 1000 rupees of transportation cost. In case, if you are, you know, uh, purchasing 2 tons of raw material, it might charge you 1500 rupees of, you know, transportation cost. If you are producing 3 to 4 tons of raw materials, it might charge you 2000 rupees of transportation cost. So based on how much quantity of raw material you are purchasing, it will charge you the transportation cost. And advertisement cost, okay, advertisement cost. See, for to, to advertise the product, it is based upon for how many minutes you are giving, how many minutes of advertising you wanted to advertise in different types of medias, whether in newspaper or in you know TV channels or in radio, wherever you want to display the advertisements based upon the content, based upon the duration, they are going to charge. For example, if you want to advertise one minute video, they might charge you 50,000 rupees. Okay, they might charge you 50,000. If you want to advertise two minutes video, two minutes video, they might charge you 1,50,000. They might charge you 1,50,000. So here, few costs are based upon, few costs are based upon how you are going to spend and how you are going to produce based upon the productional activities, based upon the business activities, this overhead will get changed. So for that, the example is shipping expenses and advertising cost. Next, moving further, semi-variable overheads. So what is this semi-variable overheads? Semi-variable overheads is nothing but semi-variable overhead expenses are ones which are partly fixed and partly variable in nature. So it is not fully fixed or it is not fully variable. So it is partly fixed and partly variable. As such, they contain as such, they contain fixed and variable elements and therefore don't fluctuate in direct proportion to business output. Semi-variable overhead examples include telephone charges. Yes, here semi-variable is nothing but partly fixed, partly variable. For certain limit, it will be fixed. If the limit crosses, the value will be changed. For example, you are producing 10,000 units of product. Okay, you are producing 10,000 units of products. So if you are producing 10,000 units of product, for example, uh, you are paying a wages in the production department, wages of rupees 5,000. In case, in case, if the production activity increases to 15,000 units, then you are paying 7,000 rupees of wages. So as the production increases, for certain limit it is fixed, up to 10,000 units it is fixed 5,000 wages. If he is producing 15,000 units, you are producing 7,000 you know, rupees of wages. So as the production increases, the cost, the variable cost will also increases. So for certain limit it is fixed and after that it varies based upon the productional level.
So here telephone charges is given based upon how many calls you are going to make. It is fixed. For example, they'll give 100 calls, 100 free calls. So up to 100 calls, it is fixed. Like you're supposed to pay 1000 rupees. If the number of calls crosses 100, then you're supposed to pay additional 10 rupees for each call. Okay, so for certain limit, it is fixed. After that, again, some value of expenditure will be added. So that is called semi-variable overhead. That means some part will be fixed and some part will be varied based upon the productional activities. So next, moving on, basic allocation of overheads. So basic allocation of overheads. So how we are going to allocate the overheads? For example, factory rent. So factory rent is an expenditure. So on what you are going to pay factory rent? Based on floor area. Based on floor area. Whether it's 100 square feet or 200 square feet or 300 square feet. Based upon the floor area, we are going to allocate the factory rent. Next one, advertisement. So advertisement will be based upon sales. Okay, we'll allocate the advertisement based upon sales. Next one, canteen expenses. Yes, based upon number of employees. If number of employees are 10, if the canteen expenditure is, you know, how much? 1000 rupees. So 100 rupees each like that. Next, power. So power will be allocated based upon kilowatts. Okay. Next, carriage inward. That means carriage inward, whatever the amount you are paying for transportation cost that is on purchase. Next, depreciation. So depreciation is based on value of assets, value of machinery, value of furniture, value of laptop, based on that. Insurance, based on value of stock. Next, supervisor charger, number of employees. Next, manager salary. So manager salary based upon number of employees. Next, staff recreation. Again, it is also based on number of employees. Next, maintenance. It is based on value of assets. Next, indirect material based on direct material. So this is how you are supposed to allocate the different expenditures with respect to different items. So if you know this allocation, then easily you are going to get 15 marks in your main exam. So in this session, we discuss about what is the meaning of overhead? What are the types of overheads we have? That is fixed overhead, variable overhead and semi-variable overhead. And also we discussed basic allocation of overheads. So with this, I'm going to wind up this session. In the upcoming session, I'm going to solve a few problems with respect to unit number four, that is overheads. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.